Hello there, everybody. This is Strange Gamer back to conclude round five for Group G. Ooh, again, this is this is probably the most exciting group in the tournament. Well, Group G and H seem to be very competitive, in my humble opinion. So yes, at first we have no P going up against Random Guy eighty six. Could be an important match there. The winner will pretty much assure their place in the last thirty two. The loser will have to hope other results go their way. And then we will see Adolf Adams going up against Fool's Cap Amato. Fool's Cap needing to get a win to give themselves a chance of automatic qualification from the group stage. And Adolf Adams, a win, could secure a top spot in Group G. And then we have an important game at the bottom between Heavy Weapons Guy and Dog 2. Heavy Weapons Guy, a win for them will take them into the top three again should res other results go their way. So yes, it's loads of stipulation here. So if Adolf Adams and Nobi win, then well, obviously these two will go through and then Heavy Weapons Guy gets a win. They will go through in third place, providing that Random Guy doesn't get a losing bonus point. So yeah, it's loads to play for you, loads to play for. Every match has significance in this round. So let's not dilly-dally, let's go on with the first matchup, which is, as I said earlier, is Nopey against Random Guy. Well, to be honest, it would be kind of tough on either of these two if if one of them didn't make it. So I think they both deserve to be there. Well, I suspect both of them probably will be there, but anyway, in the red corner, for Nopi Nopi Nopi, it is Tank. We all know who it is, it's Tank. A staple in team for Team Nopi, and, and you can definitely see why. And I think last round definitely for the first time, we kind of saw what, how effective it can be. Overall, I think Nopi, I think Nopi is going to win this match does have the type advantage over this Chasmosaurus, but this Chasmosaurus does have the insanely powerful Lightning Spear. So do not discount it from killing time. It's going to be difficult and well, it'll need to get crits off for a start. If, it's, if it just gets rock hits, it's got no chance. Well, let's see, how, let's see what unfolds in this matchup, shall we? Oh, well, good start from Random Guy there. He's gonna need some Lightning Axes and Onion Gear and Dice and chip away at Tank's HP. Crystal Crusher getting triggered there. I think as long as Nopi goes Paper or Scissors, he will pretty much avoid... Well, Scissors is probably the best move to go for, because then Random Guy can only counter with Rock, and Rock will do, like, no damage. As, as long as he doesn't get hit by a Lightning Spear, but look at this! Here comes the Crystal Crusher. Nopi striking back, lowering the Chasmosaurus' defences, which will definitely help him. Causing the lag there, defence boost coming in as well, which will also help. Oh, another tie. I'd probably say ties favour the Chasmosaurus, chipping away at Tank's HP there. Oh, another tie. Well... Random guy really wants to go for that lightning spear, but nope, he's not having any of it. But I think random guy will take this. Well, there goes Chasmosaurus. Tank getting the hit. The defense boost maxed up. And it's a 1 0 lead for Nopi. Oh, look, we got another tank. But this one is the Dino Tactic, so we don't need to get the screenshot for Lizzy Tank. We need to get the screenshot for it in the Dino Tactic. Anyway, that's for Random Guy's second Dino as well. I just said it, didn't I? It's Tank! Tank Tech Dar! This tank has the Dino Tactic. Can it, do, can it get rid of the normal tank? Just have to see, won't we? I hope my microphone audio is working. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Sorry, I, just, I, I wanted to make sure, okay? I wanted to make sure. I'm very professional. See, a professional would have, like, the recording software open in the background so they don't have to click on it. Not me. Not me. Ooh, that's a tie. I think? No, it doesn't. Ooh, look at this from Tank. Getting a hit on the Dino Tactic Tank. Ooh, Crystal Crusher being triggered, though. Can that get Random Guy back in this match? Indeed it does. Will it kill the tank? I'm not so sure. It might just survive. Nope. Even with a defensive resilience, the Crystal Crusher proving too powerful. 
Oh, I better get the um, note, have my notes out, don't I? Right, as for Noki's second dino, it is a super, super duper parry. Uh, wait, the mode on three, of course. Like everybody else. Can this super parry do the job and give Noki the 2 1 lead? Or can random guy come back into it with tap? Actually, yeah, a losing bonus point would heap ex any form of points for random guy would heap the pressure on heavy weapons guy. And it would mean that heavy weapons guy would have to get a, a bonus point win to break into our top three. And then all random guy would have to hope for then is that Adolf Adams wins their match. So many stipulations, aren't they? Right, that's once. And random guy 86 in the lead. Ooh, we, ooh, we might see Dino Tech, actually. Ooh, we are gonna see it. Oh, I better get the codes out, didn't I? There we go. Dino Tech that on! Could this be what Random Guy needs to turn the screw on this match? Boosh! Well, it's exactly what I need to get a good screenshot. Oh, but the Barry gets the hit! Oh, how big could that be? Okay, I think, yeah, one, so two more for the Awaken mode, I believe. Oh, no! Nope, he's turning the screw, stealing the match's momentum. Could that be the turning point? Right, as for Random Guy's third and last dino, it is Alpha Allosaurus. Random Guy really needs to kill this Barry quick because Nopey's third dino is the Sorrow Faganax. But a saving grace for random guys that only one of his moves are wind moves, and one of only one of Nopi's moves, I believe, are fire moves. So there, there is that saving grace. Oh, it's a disaster! Okay, yeah, we might see the awake of the Barry. Boosh! Oh, disaster! Oh, we got a shockwave. Yeah, I, I think that's it now. I think Nopi's gonna win this match. Nopi gonna go. Through safely to the last 32. Yeah, that's it. And we are going to see the Awaken mode. Good, good to see, good to see. Oh, the Aloe survived! Yeah, oh well, the Awaken mode is gone. Random guy not beaten yet. And I think, should this rocket land soon, Ran Nope, he's gonna be denied a bonus point win. Oh, it didn't land. Well, I tell you what. Random guy pulling it back. Although I think that rocket will dissipate now. We won't. Go we ain't gonna see it. But yeah, um, I don't think he's going to kill Soro Faganax. But you never know. At least he got Nopi down to his third dino, so it won't be a bonus point win for Nopi. But can Random Guy get a losing bonus point at the very least? It's on. It's definitely on. The answer to that is no, and that will be a big win for Nopi, which will all but secure his qualification from the group stage. As for Random Guy 86, well, he's just going to have to hope other results go their way, and that Adolf Adams gets the win. And, and Dog 2. Well, that's Nopi safely through. We'll have a quick look at the table, and we'll move on to our next matchup. Yep, that'll definitely do it now for Nopi. Five points clear of Fool's Capamato, and I think they beat Fool's Capamato as well, so they cannot be caught by Fool's Cap. So, yep, Nopi safely through to the last 32. As for Random Guy 86, well, um, they're just gonna, again, they're just gonna have to hope that Adolf Adams and Dog 2 can do him a favour. But yeah, nine points will probably be enough to get out as one of the best fourth place teams. So, I still think Random Guy 86 will probably go through. On to our second match of this session, which sees Adolf Adams going up against Fool's Cap Amato. Right there, in the red corner for Adolf Adams, it is a polar canvas. 
the Wild Child team doing quite well so far. A win for Adolf Adams will guarantee their place in the last 32. And will probably and will keep lots of pressure on Fools Capamato as well, who needs the result to get into the top three. In fact, a win for Fools Capamato will put them second above Adolf Adams by virtue of the fact that they beat them. Still to play for here. Although I will say a losing bonus point will be enough for Adolf Adams as a worst case scenario for them. So as long as they avoid as long as they get some form of points in this match, Adolf Adams will be going through. Oh look, we got Fool's Cap against Fool's Cap! <laughs> Well, it's Fool's Cat on the left getting the first hit, but the Dino Illusion has been triggered. Good start from Adolf Adams, though. Ooh, there's a tie. Again, tie favour the Polar Canvas. It has the Sand Trap, and we've definitely seen it in action. However, however, it's a hit from the Uteractor. Look at that! Decent damage dealt, and a light recovery to boot. Fool's Cat turning it around. Actually, no, the Uber at that Sonic Blast, doesn't it? <laughs> I, I forgot. Well, there goes the Dino Illusion. Can Adolf Adams strike back? Like, properly strike back. Ah! Uber after getting a hit there. Fool's Cap looking, look, looking good so far. Ooh, ooh, what have we got? Oh, we got nothing. No Sand Trap, no Sonic Blast, and Polar Canvas going bye-bye. Right then, as for Adolf Adams' second Dino, it is an Orhinoceratops. Oh, it's got a gold horn. That's interesting, isn't it? Very unique feature, that. Can this Orhinoceratops get Adolf Adams back in this match? Or can Fool's Catamato pull away with the Uteraptor? Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? It's like nine days of tournament Christmas videos. On the seventh day of Christmas, stranger gave to me round five of Group G. <laughs> Instead of nine, twelve days of Christmas, is nine days of Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, stranger gave to me round five of Group A. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> oh, mental. Oh, that's a tie. No Sonic Blast. Well, Fool's Cap got really lucky with the ties last time out. I think they can do without that luck. Up, oh, up, oh, here it comes again. Here comes the Sonic Blast. Fool's Cap and Matt oh, not done yet. Get in the luck of the draw. Literally, because it was a draw. Get it? There's a hit from a Rhinoceratops. Boosh! And that is Uteraptor going adios. Adolf Adams coming back into it. Right there. Now for Fool's Cap of own second Dino. It is an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. And amazingly, it got off a heat eruption last time. So I, I, think, I think there might be some hacks going on here. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Although, saying that, 590 technique is still meh, let's be honest. <laughs> it's like on par with, well, less than a bronze. But can Fool's Cap get wrestle some momentum back, or can Adolf Adams take the lead? Ooh, oh, it's a tie, no heat eruption, here's a surprise. Ooh, maybe Adolf Adams has taken this match's momentum. Got the counter blitz as well, let's not forget. Or maybe not. It's Alpha Dart time. Fool's Cap going back into it here with the Alpha Dart. What will it land on? Eeyong Boosh. Oh, this is the Alpha Droid. The Orhinoceratops getting a bash on the brain and taking a beat in there. Fool's Cap still in the lead. Ooh, but for how long? Adolf Adams continues to chip away. And look at this. A very tight match. Very tense hit so far. This is what we want to see. A proper tense test match. This is what it's all about. 
none of these boring one-sided affairs. Well, two ties there, and the Rhinoceratops going down. So Fool's Cap Mato does have a slight lead, but Adolf Adams is chasing them down. Right, now for their third wild child, that is the Gondwana Titan. The little sauropod that's proven to us all that he has a big heart. I, 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 it's, it doesn't literally have a big heart. You know, because we've never found a fossilised specimen of this thing with its heart. Maybe it did have a big heart. You never know. It might have had two. <laughs> Imagine if sauropods had, like, two hearts. It'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Well, there goes the Alpha Acro, gone one a tight then. The little fella putting up a fight against the Acro. Okay, now things get interesting because Fool's Kalamato's third dino is Staracosaurus. It is defense type as well. It also has the type advantage over the gone one a tight then, so I feel I feels like the momentum is with Fool's Kalamato. So can they take advantage of it? Wow, such pitiful damage. Ooh, ooh, the Rock Rock type has been triggered here. So if Adolf Adams gets a hit off here, it's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, there you go. Boosh. Does it carry over? Oh, it does. Maybe it carries over till they actually get a hit. Another tie. Gatlin Spark has been triggered, by the way. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, this is going to do damage. Gatlin Spark's coming. The Gondwana Titan's in for the shock of his life. Oh my god, look at that pop belly in his ribcage. Boosh. Oh, look at that. Fool's cap of that. They're getting themselves a losing bonus point. That will also see them in the top three because they did beat Random Guy 86, so they'll go above them. Ooh, but Adolf Adams getting the crit there. Coming back into it. Look at this. Such a tense match. And after all that, we are level back. And oh, it all comes down to this. I want this to end in a draw. Come on, let's end this in a draw. Come on, please be a draw. Oh, it might! <laughs> it all comes down to this. The Fool's Cap! The Starachosaurus snatching the match. Fool's Cap and Matt, though, getting a big win to see themselves in the top three. And that should surely put them through to the last 32 round. But Adolf Adams got a losing bonus point, so they are safely through as well. Right, we'll have a look at the table and we'll move on to our final match, which pretty much means nothing now. <laughs> well, look at that. Random guy at E6 dropping into fourth place there on nine points, clinging on. Fool's Cap Amato through. Adolf Adams through. Well, actually, no. Fool's Cap definitely through. But Adolf Adams could still drop into fourth should Heavy Weapons Guy get a 3-0 win. And I think Heavy Weapons Guy lost to, to Adolf Adams, I think. So a bonus point win won't be enough to take Heavy Weapons Guy into the top three. But a bonus point, well, a win of any kind would take them through as one of the best fourth place teams. So it's still all to play for for Heavy Weapons Guy. Actually, yeah, looking at the uh, other groups, at the minute, Random Guy 86 is going through on 9 points, because 9 points will be enough, because Alpha Trooper has 8 points, Dino Nerd has 8 points, the Thunderstorm has 8 points, and Cerno has 7 points. And I think Cerno will probably be knocked out at this point. Yeah, so, yeah Cerno's strongest theory, I should also point out, is going to be eliminated because they have not got enough points to get out as one of the best fourth place teams. So yeah, Cerno is definitely out now. Seven points is not going to be enough at this point. They'd have to be ahead of three of the other guys in fourth place and they won't be. Because, well, at the minute they're only ahead of Moores on six points, but obviously Moores still has yet to play and then Emmy's on seven points as well. Cerno definitely out, but Alpha Trooper, Dino Nerd, and the Thunderstorm clinging on for dear life. But And because those three are on eight points, that will put Random Guy 86 through as well, at the minute. But 
if Heavy Weapons Guy gets any form of win, they will go through as one of the best fourth place teams. So, you know, that's enough jibber jabbering. Let's get on with the match. Right, the Ola. In the red corner for Heavy Weapons Guy, it is an Ali Oremus. Heavy Weapons Guy still in with a shout again out of this group. As I said, a win will do it. Oh, only a win will do it, though. Can they get it? Well, I wouldn't bet against them getting it because they are playing against Dog 2 who has yet to win this tournament. However, this Baryonyx does have the type advantage over the Alio Ramus, so the Awaken mode could be key for Alio Ramus. Hmm. This could be the one time where having the Awaken mode right away might actually pay off because of the type disadvantage. So at least Alio Ramus could get a hit off. So, Dog won't be winning by that much, but... Dog 2 already eliminated from the tournament, looking to finish on a high. Oh, well, they got a hit. Here comes the water sword. Ali O'Ramus going to take a beat in here. And here comes the awaken mode. Can every weapon guy get the hit? Oh, it's a tie. Burning dash will get triggered, though. I think Heavy Weapons Guy won't mind that. Oh, it's another tie. Playing into Heavy Weapons Guy's hands here. Another tie. Oh my god. <laughs> well, well, look at this. And he gets the hit. Heavy Weapons Guy getting the Alpha Trooper going. Here comes, what's this thing for the game? Capazoid thing. Is it going to... Well, it should be enough to kill the Barry, unless the damage is set. And if that's the case, then the Barry may survive, and it doesn't. And there's the crit block for overkills. Heavy weapons guy. Whoa. The luck favoured him there. Has a 1-0 lead. Well, that is the in one of the, is the incidents where the Awaken mode actually paid off. Well, having it right away, I should say. Right, as for Dog 2 setting Dino, it is a, it is a Tarkia. Heavy Weapons Guy does have the lead and will have the type advantage over this Tarkia with Ulra Titan should he need it. Of course, let's not take for granted that the Ali Oremus will die to Tarkia. Okay, yes, it does die to Tarkia. <laughs> but Ali Oremus served its purpose. Right then, I would like to see Heavy Weapons Guy get through, to be honest, because they're a very interesting opposition. Very interesting combat. But they gotta do their job, haven't they? Right, as for Heavy Weapons Guy's second day, no, it is an Ulra Titan. It would be kind of harsh on Random Guy 86 to not get through, because they deserve to go through. But they just gotta hope Dog 2 does them a favour. Oh, it's a hit! Heavy Weapons Guy has the type advantage here, he's gotta make it pay. Oh, that's a tie. Even though this thing has green impulse, ties will probably fit suit Tarkia more because it does have a tie attack, so it's kind of a double-edged sword to that to that degree. Oh, another hit! It's an egg attack! Well, heavy weapons guy looking really good for the win. But don't count dog two out yet. There's still plenty of rep plenty of time left to turn this around. If I get my words out. Oh, it's a tie! The Takia clinging on. Ooh, and the Takia getting a hit. Decent damage done there. Can the Takia pull this back? Maybe it can. It's Alpha Dice time. Is it going to favour Dog Tours of Six? Ulra Titan possibly going down. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> now then, things get interesting because Heavy Weapons Guy's third dino is Amplosaurus. While it won't have any form of type advantage or disadvantage, well, it could have a type disadvantage against the Super Fairy should the Super Fairy get secret moves triggered, but, you know, Heavy Weapons Guy from leading to losing. Can Dog 2 finish their tournament on a high? You know, it's, it's been kind of a disappointing tournament for Dog 2, make no mistake. They, they, I didn't expect them to lose all their matches at this point. I thought they'd win at least one or two, but nope. Been a feisty competitive group, this group has, and Dog 2 has been 
kind of on the receiving end of all the defeats. Right, as for Dog 2's third and final dino, it is a super duper fairy. Awaken mode on four? So I doubt we'll see it? But you never know, we might see it. How can you do blah, 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 blah. Ooh, Dog 2 getting a hit and taking the lead. Well, he was already in the lead, but he's taking the lead again. Ooh, but the Amplosaurus gets a hit. Heavy weapons, guys, strike him back. Oh, Dog 2 getting a hit this time. Oh, we're going back and forth at this rate. Okay, that's three times, so we are going to see the Awaken mode. Oh, that's a nice high. Well, unless the fairy gets a crit, which it won't. Instead, it's Ampelosaurus getting the hit. Oh, wow, yeah, look at that type advantage there, because the secret move got triggered. But Shockwave has been triggered. Could that be costly? Right, well, we're going to go rock. Oh, it's a tie! That's exactly what Dog 2 wants! Heavy weapons guy on the brink of elimination! Oh, that's it! They're out! Heavy weapons guy going out to the tournament! And Dog 2 finally, on the fifth and final attempt of asking, gets a win! Finishing their tournament on a high! Well, that was a good win, wasn't it? Right, we'll check the table, see who goes through and who's playing who, and we'll end the session. Well, I'm sure Random Guy 86 can definitely breathe a huge sigh of relief as they will qualify from the group as one of the best fourth place teams. After Heavy Weapons Guy failed to defeat DBW's original gangsters too. But look at that, you got to give Heavy Weapons Guy credit, you know, like, he's going to go down in history as the only combatant in tournament history to get a, bo a, a bonus point of some kind in all of their matches. So you got to give Heavy Weapons Guy their dues for that. You're, you're going to be in the Hall of Fame for getting bonus points. But sadly, you didn't get enough wins to get out the group. So you're still going home. But it, it's definitely been interesting to see them in action. So I will miss Heavy Weapons Guy in this tournament. But unfortunately for them, it is group stage elimination. But let's look at the finale for Group G. No P winning Group G on 13 points. Four wins and the bonus point. Fools Cap Amato, second place by virtue of the fact they beat Adolf Adams. Adolf Adams in third place, both combatants on 11 points. Random Guy 86 sneaking through just for the skin of his chinny chin chin as one of the best fourth place teams on 9 points. And that will also confirm the elimination of Cerno's strongest theory from this tournament because 7 points, as I said, is not going to be enough. All the other two guys, all the other guys need to do is get more than 8 points and finish fourth, and they'll go through as one of the best fourth place teams, and then, huh, lo and behold, Alpha Trooper, Dino Nerd, and the Thunderstorm are probably going to have to duke it out to get those two, those um, fourth place spots. <laughs> right, let's see who will be playing who, then. So, Note B for winning Group G will be going up against, let's have a look, ooh, they will be going up against Zeno Slick Goku in the last 32, ooh, could be a tough match for Zeno, that could be. Nope, be looking good, looking in fine form. Four straight wins on the bounce. As for Fool's Cap Amato, for finishing runner up in Group G, you will be taking on. Ooh, will be taking on Toga Nightmare. Ooh, that could be an enticing match there for Fool's Cap Amato. Going up against Toga Nightmare. As for Adolf Adams, who finished third. Ooh, they will also take on. They will take on seven shots. Ooh. Adolf Adams' Wild Child team going up against seven shots. Could be an, another exciting last 32 clash there. In fact, that'll be the last. That'll be the very last last 32 clash of that round. <laughs> so yes, Ooh, we're getting into the matches now. So that will conclude Group G, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, do all that stuff that you that viewers do if they like your my content and until next time, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.